Hi, thank you for joining me again for my third day devotion. A few weeks ago, I began with 2 Corinthians, and we're going to continue that today. We're going to look at chapter 5. I've got a couple of verses I want to highlight for you. First one is verse 1. We know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an earth, eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. So the earthly tent is our bodies, where we reside now. It's all we know is this life, but there's something greater, there's something more, and it's waiting for us. When we leave this life, we'll have an eternal dwelling, not just because we'll live forever, but we will be eternal because we'll be with the God of eternity, with our God who loves us so much. So we've got something to look forward to, be very excited about, and we are as God's people. I want to look at verse 7. We live by faith, not by sight. Absolutely true. Our faith is so very important to us. It is what connects us to God. With Without faith, uh, we don't have the gifts that come with being a child of God. We are, we are still in our sin. We will not be heaven bound. Uh, we will not have a good relationship with who our Father and His Son, our Savior Jesus Christ is. So we give thanks that, as it said there again in verse 7, we live by faith and not by sight. Because our faith is what keeps us grounded as God's people. And who wants to live by sight? All we see is this world. It's fallen, it's broken. We want to live with God forever. I want to look also now at verse 10. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive what is due him for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. And that's, tr that's absolutely true, that we know judgment day is coming. When we leave this life, we'll be judged before entering heaven by faith or being prevented from entering heaven because of a lack of faith. But... We know that Judgment Day is part of the end times, part of our last days, because Christ himself is the judge. We even confess that in the creed about Jesus Christ. He will come to judge the living and the dead, and we believe that to be our confession as well. I want to share now verse 14. Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. That's great transference of power. Only one person died, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The God the Father and God the Holy Spirit didn't even die. Only Jesus Christ alone paid the price for all of our sins. But because we believe in him and what he did for us, it is, biblically speaking, we died. It's not like we died with him, but we died with him because we were made one with him through our baptism. So when Christ died, we died. But for the purpose of being made alive again, as the people of God. So we give thanks for our, our death to sin, but alive to Christ, who we are as God's people. Look also now at verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Absolutely true. We are new creations, new people, living people as God's people. And we got a, a newer life waiting for us too, by God's side. So we can say, as God knit us together in our mother's wombs, we are also a new creation post-life because we will be with God uh, forever. For what a great gift of blessing that is to be in his heavens with him by his side. I think that's the greatest reward of heaven to know that you will be with God for eternity. And I give thanks for that. Last one I look at is verse 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. That's true. God made Christ, who had no sin, to be our sin. He never sinned. He was never a sinful being, but he carried our sin. He died for our sin, so God made him our sin. And because Christ was then, of course, brought down to being that sin, not sinful, but in the life of sin and pay for sin, we've then been elevated that we can become God's righteousness, and we give thanks for it. There's great thought, great promise, great fulfillment in the thoughts of what heaven has for us as God's people. We look forward to it. We anticipate it because it's absolutely true and God will take us there to be with him. So thanks for joining me here again today. If you're in town, I invite you to join us on Sunday, 8.30 and 10.30 for worship. God bless you. Bye-bye.